Hi guys, we're back with another video. I just came back inside from a video demonstration on these nice stocking stuffer drones that you might want to consider as a last minute gift for the holidays. And I had fun with them. One was an exciting moment. Stay tuned to see that. Uh, but anyways, I think my favorite one out of the three here is the Holy Stone 220. That's this one. It's foldable. You can fly it in two different modes. You can fold these uh, quad propellers in to themselves like that or fly it with more control, stable control with them all out, which I found out. And then you also have a camera. You can do flips and tricks with this as well. And it comes, the version I got, I got red color and it comes with this nice carrying kit, uh, very nicely made. It looks like a really nice gift if you give this away to somebody and it's not going to break the bank. So guys, stay tuned. Let's have fun watching this. Alright guys, I've got another battery. Comes with three batteries in the package. So let's see if this battery fits in a little bit better. that one does and we'll plug it in these things are just so tiny you need little fingers almost turn our controller on right here looks like it's already paired bound up down And then we'll do the one button take off start. We've got engine fired. Oh yeah, once you get it up, it's a steady little quadcopter. It's got altitude hold, so it's holding itself there. It's catching a slight breeze. Just notice I can't come back any further than that. Let me try to turn it. Go up. Yeah, I feel like I have uh, control over it. Let's take it a ways. See how far we can go. Oh, we're getting up there. That's pretty far up, as tall as my palm trees. Getting over the lake though, and the breeze is kind of taking it away. I might lose this one, guys. I'm trying to come back. I'm gonna pull it down some. It's just hard to come forward. It's got just slight breeze out here. Just a slight breeze. Let me get behind this fence, maybe. Ah, oh, this one I'm going to lose, I know. I'm just going to go ahead and take it up. Unless I landed on that pier out there. Well, guys, this was fun for one trip. If you live on a lake, beware. Don't fly it over the lake. And look, there's hardly any breeze. If you look at the, the ripples in the lake, it's hardly nothing. So I don't, it doesn't have return home, so I can't do that land button. It'll just land right there. Let me see if I can get on the pier there. I can't tell my distance though. If I'm on the pier or not. 
nope, it went off into the water. So guys, that was a good one-time flight, exciting. Um, this was the cheapest drone of them all. This was, uh, I believe, around 20 bucks. So it was cool, but you got to do this one indoors, any type of slight breeze, and those motors are not going to have enough power to pull you back home. So guys, I got a couple extra batteries here. If you guys get one, let me know. I can send these to you along with an extra controller. Next up, the Potenzik drone. It's a small drone. We'll try that one next. So we're looking for UDIRC to connect to in the Wi-Fi. After you hit connect, the light is flashing. There it is. OK to connect. Obtaining IP address, connected, no internet, that's good. Tap for options, yes, I want to stay connected. And there we go, we have a ground camera, which you probably can't see, but on my phone, there is image. All right. Pulled our levers together down to the center I believe oh I got to turn our controller on first we're powered up take off and this is slight wind again guys Hardly any, you can see no ripples in the lake. But this time I want to stay away from the lake. I can tell this one's got more power. It's got three speeds as well. So let's pick up that speed and let me get you out of the sun. Get my orientation here. Right, come down. Now, press in on the right key joystick. That's speed two, or three. It went to three. You can count it by the beeps. I press it again. That's speed one. Press it again. Second speed. We want third speed out here. We want all the power we can get. We just, just lost our battery power, guys. Just lost it. So, it's gonna go down anywhere it runs out of battery and uh, possibly no warning for you. But it's a cool little inexpensive flyer. Now I am getting a warning on there now, after we're already down. I'll shut everything off. All right guys, this is the Holy Stone HS220 model. You can fly it in two different modes with the, uh, the props out, or you can fold them all in like this. Props in, maybe this would be better for indoors. It's smaller. I believe this uh, color comes in red, black, white, or silver got the red one and you can only use the camera if these are folded out because your camera is right there there's your camera lens your battery slides right in the bottom it's the color of the aircraft you get two of these batteries you charge them right in the control the controller unit here 
this they're the same size so they pull out and swap out so guys I got the app open all right guys I believe we are connected to our holy stone HS 220 I'm gonna I'm into the app now make sure you can see that I'm gonna do start and we do have live feed there hopefully you can see that this live feed is the best live feed out of the two drones that have FPV so far I can tell <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and pair it to our controller turn our controller on hit that button we're going to power our sticks down, hit the navigation situation button there. There we go. We are paired now. And what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button. I'm going to go ahead and hit it on my screen here since I can see it easily right there. And it is recording. I see the red counter. So I'm going to hit the, the button to take off. And we got our props on, guys. So we're about ready to take off. And I'm going to go ahead and take it up. Looking good. The FPV on this one is more professional. It's not choppy. I'm going to turn it around this way. Look at our ducks in the backyard there. There are some more ducks outside here. If you can see them, a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of ducks out there. Just have a slight breeze out here. You see it's pulling it toward the lake. But I've learned my lesson on the first one so far, guys. So we're going to keep this one. We're going to not let it get away. <clears throat> this one has so much more control, guys, than the other one or the other two. The ducks aren't too afraid of this. Let's see, let's get some altitude on this. Get away from that tree. And we are up. It's got nice, strong lights on it, so if you're flying this in dusk you will see it it's got speed I'm not the best drone flyer but I can tell I do have a lot more control more confidence with this larger scale uh, Holy Stone HS 220 it's a lot of fun guys and this, oh, look at that plane up there. Don't worry, I'm nowhere near it. But guys, this, with the case that it comes with, is a nice, uh, it's a nice little gift package, for sure. Really nice. Let's see if we can go over here to the neighbor's yard without losing any signal yeah I can still see it guys because of the lights keep it away from the lake <laughs> this is awesome awesome fun it's like it turns on a dime I've got full control over it. I can see it in my FPV screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. There might be too much glare. I don't want to lose orientation like I did before, guys. It's so smooth and quiet. Now, if you want to get more of a starter drone, but kind of professional, go with this one. <clears throat> because actually if you start with uh, beginner drones like the first two I showed you they're good they're disposable drones they don't cost too much money but here you're stepping up a bit 
but you're going to get the uh, more quality and the feel of a more expensive drone so that when you do when you can afford the more expensive drone that you're already kind of uh, in control of it you know how it's going to operate its characteristics and this has a lot of characteristics of like a DJI drone I do have a DJI Mavic Pro let's take a look at the ducks again they're not too afraid of the drone Yeah. See the sunset. There's a sunset over the lake. Pretty long flying time. I've been going on this for a while now. Really good looking drone really nice it's all kind of plastic material but the the paint the silky paint satin paint they put on the drone i got a few scrapes on it but it makes it look metallic like an aluminum frame so smooth so fast Stops on a dime. Yeah, I'm liking this one, guys. This one is a must have. Would make a great gift for all ages, I think, male or female. Let's see if I can get me in the picture. Oops, I might hit that tree. I don't want to do that. Take it out of the spin. Why do all these drones want to lead to the lake? <laughs> Jeez. All right, I lowered a bit. I'm trying to get me in it. There we go. Back up. We're going up. Now I can see I need to have more hands-on control with this because the, the props aren't out as wide, keeping that copter under control. Still got the power though. I notice if I get up there in the wind, it gets a little taken away. So I would only do it in this mode fold it up if you're indoors or you want to drive a drone but you're indoors you're stuck indoors you can't go out or it's too windy out uh, then use this mode indoors I really like the other mode better let's see if we can do some flips with this let's get it out there flip flip nope you can't do flips in this mode guys well that's another reason why not to use this mode. No camera, no flips. Oops, our battery and the wind at the same time, we're losing, losing control a little bit. We regained. So yeah, no flips, no camera, less control. Overall though, I like the option that you have to fold them up. I love the, the extended mode better with the flips. That was pretty cool and fun. But you're getting a lot of time out of this battery because we, we're doing it in the second mode now. 
and we, we're still going. We are still going, guys. I just don't want to lose my orientation because I know my battery's low. I don't want to head out there on the lake again by accident. You saw what happened to the first one. I'm doing that. It's not going down. It's got some speed to it. Oops. I'm losing it. I lost what direction I'm supposed to be going. Oh boy, guys. That gets scary when you lose your orientation or the drone. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? I gave you, gave you three choices. One choice doesn't exist for me anymore. <laughs> uh, second choice, that's okay. This choice, I believe, is my favorite pick. Uh, I had a little trouble getting it connected through the Wi-Fi to the drone, but we finally got it. And I did have some fun with it, like the flips. The video recording you could do. All right, now we're getting the warning from the actual controller that it's running out of juice. So I'm gonna get down here a little lower, and I'm gonna hit my land button right there. And we've landed it, guys. We can turn that beep off, controller off. We're good to go, guys. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another one of my YouTube videos. I really appreciate you coming by. Hit the subscribe button if you liked it and you want to see more TW Home Show. If not, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what I've done wrong so I can improve my videos in the future. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.